This is Mrs. Zappia with Lesson 4, Solving for Unknown Angles Using Equations. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students solve for unknown angles in word problems and in diagrams involving all learned angle facts. Pause the video and copy the essential question. What is the purpose of identifying the relevant angle relationship? In our opening exercise, four times the measurement of an angle is the complement of an angle. Find the measurement of the angle and its complement. We know that complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. And we know that we have two angles. One of them is four times the size of the other. So we'll start by naming our unknown angle as x. And then the second angle will be four times that measurement. And the sum is 90 because they are complementary. Combine your like terms to get 5x. Multiply by the reciprocal of the coefficient to solve your equation. Now that we know that the small angle is 18 degrees, we can find the measure of the other angle. The first angle is 18 degrees. The second angle is 4 times 18 degrees. And so we have the measure of our, both of our angles are 18 degrees and 72 degrees. In example 1, Find the measurement of angle FAE and CAD. So we've marked those measurements. Now we want to look at the angle relationships. I see that I have a 90 degree angle here. And I see that I have two vertical angles that are unmarked and equal in measure. Since I have vertical angles that are equal in measure, I can use that angle relationship to solve this problem. If I make these lines bold, it makes it a little easier to see the relationship. I can see clearly that the small ones are equal, but can you see that the larger angle, the 170 degree angle here, is equivalent to the sum of these three angles here? So these three add up to 170 degrees because they are vertical angles and vertical angles are congruent. So we have 170 degrees is equal to the sum of the three angles, 2x plus 6x plus 90 degrees. Combine your like terms, 170 equals 8x plus 90. Subtract 90 from both sides of your equation. This is equal to 0. And then on this side, we have 90 degrees, 80 degrees. And to complete that equation, you can either divide both sides of the equation by 8, or you can multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of the coefficient. The reciprocal of 8 is 1 eighth, and 1 eighth of 80 is 10. So we have x is equal to 10. Now that we know the value of x, we can substitute 10 in the uh, terms 2x. So that's going to give us 2 times 10 for 20 degrees here, and 6 times 10 for 60 degrees here. And so we have solved for both of our measures. The measure of angle FAE is equal to 20 degrees, and the measure of angle CAD is equal to 60 degrees. Next, two lines meet at a point. List the relevant angle relationship in the diagram. Two lines meet at a point. List the relevant angle relationship in the diagram. Set up and solve an equation to find the value of x. Find the measurement of one of the vertical angles. So we have 3x on the left and x plus 64 degrees on the right. So the 3x on the left means that the sum of x plus x plus x is going to equal this angle right here. So what that means, we could call this x, x, and x. And we know that these are going to be equal to each other. I also can look on this angle over here and show what x is equal to because I know the approximate width of x like this. So I know that if this is the value of x, then this is the value of x as well. 
Now, I know that vertical angles create congruent lines. So I know that 2x on this side is equal to 64 degrees on this side. Remember that this entire angle is x plus 64, and this is x. So again, 2x equals 64 degrees. Divide both sides by 2, or multiply by the reciprocal of the coefficient. And 1 half of 2 is 1, 1 times x is x, and half of 64 is 32. So I know that the measure of x is 32 degrees. And then the measure of the vertical pair would be 3 times 32 degrees. So over here we have 3 times 32 degrees, which is 96 degrees, which is the measure of this angle. And the other angle will also be 64 degrees because they are vertical, and vertical angles are congruent in measure. Exercise 1. Set up and solve an equation to find the value of x. List the relevant angle relationships in the diagram. Find the measurement of the vertical angles. Pause the video and complete that exercise on your own. When you solve this problem, you get an answer of x is equal to 33 degrees. And then when you substitute 5 times 33 degrees, your final answer is 165 degrees for the angle. Example 2. Three lines meet at a point. List the relevant angle relationships in the diagram. Set up and solve an equation to find the value of b. So let's take a look at the relevant angle relationships. I see that B and C are vertical angles, and therefore they are congruent. So the first thing that I want to do is I see that I have vertical angles, and vertical angles are uh, create congruent angle measurements. So angle B is equal to angle C. Then on this line I know that I have three angles that will add up to 180 degrees. So the first thing I wanted to do is say let angle B equal angle C. Next I'm going to write an equation 37 plus C plus 43 equals 180 degrees. 37 plus 43 plus C equals 180 degrees. I'm going to combine my like terms and that's going to give me C plus 80 equals 180 degrees. Subtract 80 from both sides of the equation to solve for C. So C is equal to 100 degrees. And since B is equal to C, then B is also 100 degrees. We're going to skip exercise 2 for now. Example 3. The measurement of an angle is two-thirds of the measurement of its supplement. Find the measurement of the angle. I want to revisit what we've done with tape diagrams to solve this problem. I know that my answer is going to equal two-thirds of the measurement of its supplement. So the supplement would be a 100 degrees minus that angle. The supplement would be 180 degrees minus the angle. And the answer is two-thirds of that. So using a tape diagram, I'm going to have one tape diagram for the angle and another tape for its supplement. And the supplement will have three sections in it because of the denominator three. And the angle is two thirds of that. So I know that these five units together have a sum of 180 degrees. 
because there are 180 degrees in supplementary angles. And I take that 180 and I split it five ways evenly, and that means that one unit is equal to 36 degrees. And then two units would be twice as much. Two units would be 72 degrees. So the angle itself is 72 degrees. And then the supplement would be three units of 36 degrees. And three times 36 is 108 degrees. And so those are the measurements of the angles. Exercise three. The measurement of an angle is one quarter the measurement of its complement. Find the measurement of the angle. Pause the video and complete the exercise. Start by writing your answer is equal to one-fourth of the difference of 90 degrees and its angle. This right here, these are the complementary angles. Using a tape diagram, we have one for the angle and four sections for the complement. Notice that the denominator here is four, and that's what we've made the complement. It has four sections because the angle is one-fourth of the supplement. So we have five units equals 90 degrees. Divide by five, we get 18 degrees each, and then the units, four units, is 72 degrees. So the measurement of the two complementary angles that satisfied these criteria are 18 and 72 degrees. Example four. Three lines meet at a vertex of a ray. List the relevant angle relationship in the diagram and set up and solve an equation to find the value of z. So just take a minute and look at the diagram. So we're going to let x be the measurement of the indicated angle. We know that x plus 90 plus 29 equals 180 degrees, and that is angles on a line. So here's the x, here's the 90 degree angle right here, and then here's the 29 degree angle. The sum of those angles equals 180 degrees. Combine your like terms and you get 119 degrees. Then solve for x by subtracting 119 degrees. That gives you a value of x of 61 degrees. So we have 61 degrees for the value of x. We also need to find the value of z. We know that z is equal to x plus 90 degrees, as indicated by the right angle mark right here in the corner. So we have 90 degrees plus x is equal to z. We know that uh, angles on a line add to that. Okay, so here we have the 90 degrees plus angle z. And that gives us 61 degrees plus 90 degrees. And that's 151 degrees. So let's mark that angle here. So we have 90 degrees right here. And this is 61 degrees right here. And the sum of those two together is angle Z. Right, we're on to exercise four. Pause the video, complete the exercise, and then check your work. Two lines meet at the common vertex of two rays. Set up and solve an equation to find the value of X. Find the measurement of angle GAF and of BAC. Let y be the measurement of the indicated angle, and y is equal to 180 degrees minus the sum of 90 plus 36. Okay, so here's the 36 and here's the 90. And we know that these three angles together have a sum of 180 degrees. So y is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees plus 36 degrees. So y is equal to 54 degrees. Next, we know that 4x plus y 
plus 5x equals 180 degrees because angles on a line equal 180 degrees. So here's our line. And again, let's take a look at those three parts. We have the 4x right here and the y right here and the 5x right here. And we know that they add up to 180 degrees. Then we know that the value of y is 54 degrees, so we substitute that value. Then combine your like terms. 4x plus 5x is 9x. Then subtract 54 from both sides of the equation. That leaves you with 9x equals 126. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the coefficient to get your answer, 14. Now that we know the value of x is 14, we can substitute it in each term to find the measure of the angles. The measurement of the angle GAF is 4 times 14 degrees, which is 56 degrees. And the measurement of angle BAC is 5 times 14 degrees, which is 70 degrees. And so we have answered our question. In this lesson, you have learned the steps to solving for unknown angles. Identify the angle relationships. Set up an equation that will yield the unknown value. Solve the equation for the unknown value. Substitute the answer to determine the angle. Check and verify your solution or your answer by measuring the angle with a protractor.